Yep. Legit. No, like, in those first two matches, like, you did a really great job controlling the pace and just baiting him and pissing him off. And then game three, he adapted a little bit more. And that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. I figured, you know, he was going to catch on a little bit more. But, you know, he had to, he had control of that match for the first part or whatever. But you definitely, you know, you brought it back and you paid attention. I mean, I'm I'm pretty freaking impressed with you, man. I remember when you were, a, a, I remember when you were a scrub at the GameStop tournaments in 2008. I remember that, too. <laughs> Good times. So what are your goals for this tournament today? Uh, third is my minimum. Third is your minimum? Yeah, the cans and Odo are going to be a problem, but that's it, I think. Anybody you really want to play? Anybody you're trying to beat today? MJG. MJG? Yeah. Last time he beat me, really close to that. I want to get revenge. When's the last time you guys played? It was at Armageddon, like about half a year ago. But yeah, on Wi-Fi, me and him have been actually playing a lot, like for him to help me practice for Toronto Joe, and I think that it helped paid off. Like, got a hundred dollars in my pocket now. Congratulations, man. So it appears there's a match going on right now, though. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll get to the commentary. We yeah. have to get a few words for you know everyone watching the stream now. Yeah. Got DLA versus MJG here. Oh, so you're gonna commentate with me now? That's right. <laughs> I'm commentating. Somehow you weathered your way on the stream. Okay, I'll, I'll be planned. <laughs> All right, so right now, for those of you just not tuning in, we've got game one, DLA versus MJG. We've got two Midwest West people going down. DLA is originally a Ganon main, I thought, but he has many secondaries he likes to go. I have seen him play at least 10 different characters. I mean, I, I've i seen him use Pikachu, Falco, Sheik, Meta Knight, uh, so many. And now Marth. I didn't know he had a Marth. I didn't it's, know either, it's but... not looking very well in this particular matchup, though. This is a... If you don't know this matchup to a T, it's very difficult for Marth, especially against a seasoned player like MJG. Yeah, MJG has been playing, like, a lot more Meta Knight than Toon League recently. I, should, I think he just figured out that Meta Knight's the better character, but he'll still be the best Toon Link in our hearts. Oh, uh, see, this is yeah. why I don't play this game. Everyone's freaking going Meta Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh. For that D to me. Unfortunate up be there. This is not looking very well for DLA right now. Oh, okay, is he going to go for the spike? Oh, nope. you just missed it. It's actually very hard to pull off. It is. You, it, that's a, that's frame perfect shit. Yeah. So, Marth at the 69%? Nope, never mind. Good. We might see a 3 stock here, but nope. no. DLA got it. DLA looking very focused though. I can see it. He he definitely wants to make that comeback. Yeah, okay. I agree. Can <laughs> we see again? Oh, oh wow, nice tipper. At this point, I think DLA is just like, well, you know, I'm down now, so I might as well just, you know, go, go yolo. In. <laughs> I agree. I yeah. agree. <laughs> that was a nice idea. Stop. Then it's momentum. Nice response. Did you show him the player knowledge he has? Meta Knight Marth. Interesting there. Very nice read. We just managed to get a very smooth up there. I really like that. Delay does a lot of things that I've never seen anyone do. Like at Apex, he was actually biting me in front of these. Then I'm being horrible, horrible for scanning, but, oh, but that's beside the point. And MDD takes it. Clean two stock. I really res I've played DLA quite a few times throughout the years. I haven't beaten him personally. It's always been really close sets, but I really just respect the fact that he's pretty knowledgeable with many different characters, and I don't know, he knows how to switch it up. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like, you know, this particular matchup was his cup of tea. I was expecting, I don't know, honestly, I probably would have expected him to see Falco, but if yeah, he's... Falco, yeah. I think Falco would be a good choice. Yeah. That would Meta Knight, too. Will or he Michael do it? Gannon. Yep, he's going Ganon. I think that's honestly, this might be his best bet. I think maybe he's not going, you know, Falco or whatnot because he had some offstage games. Oh, Jesus, Toon Link. Oh, boy, here this we go. This looks horrible for Ganon. I'm I don't think I've ever seen this matchup really played out, at least at a uh, top level. Me neither, and this is, I, I believe it's going to be horrible for Ganon. Like, how is he going to approach? The platforms, too. I mean, we're on Battlefield. Oh, man, this is going to be quite difficult. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, yep. yep just walling him out. Our fears for DLA are being confirmed right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to approach, but he just can't. He's trying to power shield. He's trying to find some kind of way to get in, but it's not really working right now. And MJG is just making sure that there is constantly <laughs> something in his way, and it's just... 
not working out too well right now. Showing DLA why Gain is a horrible character. Now if he can get if, if he can get MJG off his balance, get the momentum, it's entirely possible with some very strong reads, he can end up getting the stock and taking the advantage. But yeah, Ganon would do like 36% with two down airs. Exactly. He does he hits so freaking hard. Like yeah. when, if you get red with Ganon, it hurts. Yeah. Like he reads that spot dodge, you're getting hit with that down air, and that crap hurts. And he also <laughs> kills so early too. Like red Force Mesh, he'll die at like 80. Interesting there. Very risky, but it worked out with that Helm B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice out there by DLA. Well, those platforms do not seem to be helping DLA at all. No, I can't imagine. If anything, it just makes it easier for Toon Link to run away, in my yeah. opinion. And Toon Link's very strong on Battlefield. Nice power shield. I think DLA's tactic is just try to run in and shield Toon Link's projectiles, then see what he can do. He's trying to get some sort of power shield or wait for a, a spot dodge or air dodge or something. He's just trying to get in his face, wait for MJG to do something not smart and then punish him for it. But knowing MJG, he makes very smart decisions most of the time. And I've noticed when, when DLA goes in for what he believes is a punish, MJG is ready for it. Oh, wow. Zero to 50. 57, 67. That was that was wow. a hot combo. That was impressive. That was. And I gotta imagine, very easy for Toon Link to just combo Ganondorf too, being such a heavy character. Heavy, big, tall character. Exactly. Having a massive frame too doesn't make yeah. this too Whoa, much better. Whoa, forward air. Ooh, almost got him there. Pretty random, but it worked. Interesting. He's got a bomb though. He made it. Nice read. Yeah, I'm just walling this Ganon out. I don't see what he can do. No. DLA might be able to pull something out of this. Well, DLA is definitely the what he's do, his overall concept. What he's doing of not letting um, MJG get too far away from him. I definitely agree with that because he has no options at far range. So that's all he can do. Oh, nice yeah. combo there. Oh, too bad he whiffed that. Yeah. Yeah, look how close he is to Toon Link all the time. Nice. Oh, nice down here. Not expected at all. Ooh, you guys bring like an up, up smash right there. Almost Very the nice down there. Now deal for the Sparta kick. <laughs> <laughs> You know, for what appears to be a tough match, DLA is holding his own. Yeah, this is still very possible for him. Like, Toon Link is actually kill percent right now, I think. With a forward game. smash. It'd have to be a pretty or hard up read. smash. Uh, yeah. Or bad DI forward tilt. <laughs> but Toon Link takes the first stock. Next stock. He wants them early kills now. Are we going to see another, like, 60% oh. combo from IMGG? Uh, we just saw an attempted tech chase. That would have been <laughs> quite interesting. <laughs> Ganon tech chase. No. Risky, but no punish. Oh. Yo, nice. that was very nice. I didn't expect that. Yo, the Ganon jump. <laughs> Showing off what a good Ganon he is. This is quite interesting here. DLA is only down 12%. And now he's only at one. <laughs> this is very close. I mean, he did a very good job of adapting. He was having a very difficult time getting in, but now he's managing to maintain the pressure. Yeah. And, and now he's almost taking the lead. Oh, wow. Now he read that spot dodge. See, that's what happens. Every time DLA gets that spot dodge read on you, that's his go-to option. And that crap hurts. <laughs> and... MJG's with the hill percent right now. A good read will give him the match. That board air almost did. Oh, Whoa, this the isn't Ganon looking good. punch. <laughs> this isn't looking good. He wanted good. that momentum. Oh, no, this is, this is it. it. Re uh, really, really valiant attempt there with uh, Ganondorf. 